Welcome to the next episode of Dark Souls. I hope you enjoyed the cheesy ending of last time. And I promise you it won't happen again. But we are going to take this extremely serious, hardcore, super hardcore, and uh, hardcore seriousnessly, and take this area and beat it like it's a uh, like it's a video game that's super easy. Let's keep it over here. Although I'm gonna be a fucking idiot and uh, swing one-handed, and swing one-handed again. And not press one. There we go. Okay. Let's do this and not screw up. My voice is definitely starting to change. My throat hurts from talking so much. But that's okay. I'm playing Dark Souls and it will not get better. So I've accepted that. Acceptance is the first stage of something. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm leaving all of this in here because this is just treacherous to me. Although I won't leave the run back. So I made it this far. You know, didn't die, of course. Killed the two guys. I'm actually going to kill this guy in the center this time instead of just go for the second guy. I'm not sure what I was thinking now that I was actually doing it. Easy. terrified. That's why I'm silent. I'm sorry. Oh, thank God. Okay, now don't screw up the last little bit. Talk about Big, big Boobs McGee over there. Now, if I recall correctly, there's Twinkly Titanite in that chest. But, how do I get there? I think it's down here. Oh. Well, if I die, I'll have to do all of this all over again, and I don't want that to happen. But, you know, I think that's a Twinkling Titanite. So, I'm going for it. Thank God I survived. There was a high chance of me failing that, I feel like. Oh, hey, a dude's here. I shouldn't have been surprised. It's a divine blessing. What a waste of my time. Oh, being a perv. Whew, man, made it. Made it.
Okay, I have a goal here. So I want to be able to push this lever quick enough before the next gargoyle can get on it. Dang it, he got on. Well, not that it mattered that he got on. <laughs> Damn, I destroyed him. All the way down these stairs. It's just never ending. Aimless stairs. If you have the Dark Moon Seance Ring, I'll be honest, I only remember the name because it's part of my favorite covenant to PvP and because I love the Dark Moon Blade. I don't remember how to get it. At all. I don't even know. Never mind. I know where it's at. It's in the uh, area before Gravelord Nito. Need some 30 strength. Almost 30 strength. Level 51. I'm doing pretty good. I feel like I've wasted a lot of souls on dying and not getting them. I feel like I should be at least 55 by now. I don't want to human up. Human up. Uh, that's true. I'm going to call it humaning up. Because I, I feel like I'm going to die. And I don't want to waste something. But if I die and if I don't get it, I don't know. I just... I don't want to. Now I'm sticking to it. Can I equip those and still light? Yes. Okay, good. Gonna run up there, down there, up there again, and not die. Oh, this is, in my opinion, the absolute most frustrating part of the game. The reason I'm not running to the bonfire way over there to come down is it, it, it is a little quicker. It is a little quicker. But I'm just so used to if you get invaded, people turn that lever. And that means you have to do the whole thing again. And it's just so frustrating. Normally I have a bow, which I use all my ammo for. Pop and run into here. Reset that guy. Look at that ugly face. If you have a bow, you can take the first guy. Hit him right in the head. Like the guy just above my head. Hit him right in the head. He'll fall off. Wow, I one-hit them. Okay. Fighting them one at a time is safe. It's secure. You won't die one at a time. Well, you could still die fighting them one at a time if you're an idiot like this. Oh my god. Jeez. Don't be an idiot. Don't be like me. Oh my gosh, I did it again. If you have a bow, you can sit up there and poke them. Kind of. It's it's a little strange by, by me saying poke, because poke is not the right term. Fuck, I'm dead. Holy cow. If you take an arrow from up top there, and if you hit right here, it'll pull both of them into the center to inspect the arrow hit. Then if you hit them, they'll run into this, and then one will push each other off eventually, and then you can just snipe the last one remaining. Let 
We're just gonna wait here patiently. Until I stop firing. He's never gonna stop firing. on didn't I never lock on fighting those guys never lock on fighting those guys dang it I am going to speed run this the whole thing we're gonna see how well it goes L my knee um the other people I'm gonna kill are the two black knights I'm gonna kill the one on the left first and then I'm gonna go kill the one on the right I think it's safer that way because you don't have to worry about getting shot in the back but the speedrunning part is way more dangerous. I say speedrunning as just in the context of running through it quickly without worrying about mobs and doing things as fast as you can. Because you can. It's You're just going to get hit here. Except, the, except you're hit because I didn't roll. Run down here. They're going to spear you in the back. you got to listen. Now up here. Just wait for the attack. Roll. Well... Typically, you'd want to dodge both of those. But then run up here. They'll throw spears. And I died. I got hit one too many times. Dang it. Alright, I'm going to attempt to do this speedrun thing one more time. If that does not work, probably won't. Let's be realistic. I'll just go ahead and kill everything and do this all slowly. But I used to play like the speedrun style on everything, and it just really is what I'm used to doing. Sorry, I needed to... Palms sweaty. Knees weak. That was probably a crabby time to heal up, but that's okay. I, I, that was literally hit me the second I pressed roll. Uh, I I decided to jump instead of roll. We're gonna stop here where nothing can hit me. I'm going to fully, fully heal up. Go ahead and grab this hero soul for 10,000 souls down here. It's crazy of how much of this game you just don't forget. Or how much of a game you don't forget when you play it for so long. I'm dead. Dang it.
that was easy. So I didn't talk at all. I was I was seriously concentrating. Okay. I do apologize for the silence. But you know, when you're just into it, you know, you're just into it and you can't really you know, you just you just zone in, I guess. I don't know. If you've if even if that's never happened to you, then uh, I find that a little weird, but that's okay. Here's another little shortcut. Please God, come on. Yes. I think I'm skipping out on some Twinkling Titanite by doing this, but I don't care because the boss is right there. It is extremely important to open this. In case if you get PvP'd, I don't think they can shut that on you. I don't think. They might be able to. But the chance of PvP happening in this game, I feel, is really low now. I feel like this is pretty much a PvE game only for people who enjoy difficult games. Dummy. I'm gonna go unlock the blacksmith. He's right around the bottom of this treacherous stair square case. Hammering away. Who are you? Modify equipment. Um, reinforced weapon. Um, purchase item. You s okay? So three thirty three point eight. Can I get that? Yes, I have 10. Use that. That'll buy me one, two, two. Purchase item. Yeah, two. That's what I thought. Dang it. Okay, now I can purchase another one. That was easy. Uh, purchase item. Uh, reinforced weapon. Don't have the souls for it. Repair equipment. You know one thing I never repaired? Was my flame glove. Pyromancer, but I can't repair it apparently. There. So I need to get 500 more. Okay, now I'm at 800. Okay, now I have enough to upgrade it to plus 10. Purchase item. That's not what I wanted. Reinforce weapon. Plus 10. Here we go. The great sword is now at plus 10. I honestly believe again, once I have 40 some strength, That'll do more damage than this halberd will. But it might not. I don't know. I, th I believe. I believe it will. All right, first attempt at Orenstein and Smell. I don't know which one I'm gonna kill first. To me, it really doesn't matter which one I kill first as long as one of them dies. I honestly think smells a little easier. But they each have their benefits and they each have their drawbacks of going for.
Whew. That was close. Okay, I did not see him come at me at all. Okay. Okay, I see. This is how it's going to be. I will see you at the boss door again, guys. I'm gonna do this a little different. I'm gonna hit up a power of within. Take damage right here, because I'm an idiot. I'm going to heal up. Yes, I'm being much more aggressive. No! No way! No! <laughs> no! But I'm dead, so what's it matter? Dang it. All right, I'm going to use power within again and just be really aggressive because that, that did really well. Here we go. Come on, Ornstein, lunge at me. Ouch. Okay, I wasn't ready. Okay, I'm still not ready, Ornstein. Take a chill pill, bro. I'm not ready. I lied to you. Okay, no. Ugh. Damn it. I'm not even trying to be aggressive. I'm just trying to survive. I'm gonna have to start popping humanity soon. Okay. If you've never seen that cutscene before, I'm sorry. Go find a YouTuber who watches it. I'm dead. Holy shit. No! Get him! Yeah! No! No, 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 no. Whew, okay, I was super paranoid. I thought I was gonna die right there. Oh man, power of within is OP. Man. You know, depending on how strong I get with these souls, I might try to take like a mat, like a, oh, I can't do that because I already skipped all the sorcerers and I uh, done screwed myself over on everything else. So I was thinking about going to like a, a crystal magic weapon. So crystal magic weapon, power within, you know, straight boss mode on boss, or well, straight beast mode on bosses. Normally I kill her. Cause she, she is an illusion for those of you who don't know. She is an illusion. Um. Now I can warp. So I'm warped Firelink Shrine and level up my uh what's this stuff called? Pyromancy glove. And then I'm going to end it here. Because this episode and the last episode were extremely frustrating. 
to put it in the nicest of terms. Did I get any more? Um, use that. 20,000? 12,000. This is 20,000. Purchase item. Almost to plus 15. That's good. I know I just... I, I really could have used those souls on levels. And I know it doesn't seem like I'm using pyromancy a lot. I mean, well, clearly it's because I'm not right now. But it is useful. Now, I need to decide of what boss I'm going to go head for. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, Give me a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. And I'll be honest, I don't know what video number I'm at. So I'll see you next episode.